I'm Mrs. Lane, and I want to know, are you ready for some kickball? I've been an avid kickball player for more than two decades, and I've won way more games than I've lost. And yeah, I can run pretty fast, and I can kick the ball pretty far, and I usually play with kids who are smaller than me, but that's not why I win. I win because I follow the rules. The game of kickball may be kind of new to some of you, so this is how it works. There are two teams. One team kicks while one is in the outfield. A pitcher rolls the ball from the pitcher's mound to home plate. As the ball approaches home plate, the kicker kicks the rolling ball and then starts to run the bases. You want to go as far as you can around the bases without getting out. There are three ways that you can get out in kickball. If you get tagged by the ball while running to a base, it's an out. But keep in mind that nobody can throw the ball at a runner. If a runner is forced to go to the next base and an outfielder gets to that base before they do with the ball, then it's an out. And if you kick an air ball and it's caught by an outfielder, it's an out. Now, here are some basic rules that we'll follow while we're on the field. No leading. The player must stay on the base until the ball has left the pitcher's hands. You cannot lead off the base when you're running to the next one. No babysitting or baby kicks. Babysitting is when one player kicks while the other player runs. You can only do this if you have authorization from a teacher. Baby kicks are when you act like you're going to kick it hard, but then you really just trip over the ball. Let's all play our hardest. Don't argue. There will be calls that you might not agree with, but fighting on the field is unacceptable. Do not ever cheat. We all know the rules now, so we'll play by them. And play as hard as you can. Your team is depending on you, so be the best player you can be. So now you know how to play kickball. I'll see you out on the field. <laughs>